Hey guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for the continuous support, suggestions, and phone calls. Today, we have an excellent vlog for you where we dive into the realm of politicians who are farmer. You know, previously, we had a, a one with Damian Crawford looking at his gold farm. So now we got the opportunity to interview Mr. Carl Samuda, a former minister of agriculture and who is a great farmer doing both horses, cattle, and even some small scale goats and chickens. So let us now tour with Mr. Samuda. Younger days, man. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I owe a lot to two men in agriculture. Michael Motto, Dr. Michael Motto, and the master himself, Dr. Carlwell. <laughs> That's so true, the master. Those men have done more for me in this business than any other pair of men in terms of advice, support, everything. Those two men, I mean many others have, but always when I'm in a difficult position, I always make reference to those two um, agriculturists. going seriously into zero grazing and fattening. So these youngsters are being fattened and, um, and, and will be sold at about 800 a thousand pounds. Yeah. So how long, how long in cattle we are in, Mr. Samoda? I have been in this now for, uh, well I've been in, in farming for about 35 years, mm -hmm. but I've been in the cattle business. Although it, in St. Thomas we had cattle too, but not in a serious. We started as a dairy farm and then we progressed to a cattle farm because the Nestle gave us a, a price that was uneconomical, we couldn't survive. So I sold all the dairy cattle and I went into beef, which I prefer anyway. And in addition to that, of course, I, my life's love and my family's love are thoroughbreds. I thought I realized there were a lot of horses. Right. So we have. Um, we have breeding mares and we have our own stallion and, and so on, you know. We even have horses for my grandchildren. So it's a holistic thing, it's, every, it's, a, it's a family thing. It's a family thing, nice. So for the Jamaican agricultural sector, you have any recommendations? I, I was at Bodles when, when you were minister that last no, part. Man, I'm disappointed. I Terribly disappointed. I can imagine. But because I can say I appreciate what you tried to do. I can it needed. Let me tell you. When I was Miss Alcoach, I went to board. I, I mean it's something you shed tears on. Because I was in the dairy business and I understand what a good dairy looks like. And when I went there it was absolutely shocking. Um, I think they have done some improvements. Yes, we built yes. a new road and we made it restructured. I I'm still I have great hopes for them really improving it yes but at the time I went there it it really wasn't um, it really wasn't saying very much I, have you been there recently yes I hope they have improved it and I, I really looking forward to going there and visiting with them but um, agriculture satisfies several needs not the least is the fact that it is very very pleasurable I mean as you can see here we, we farm goats my wife went into the chickens although I must quarrel because I don't know why we can't get more layers so we can expand that side of the business but we intend to expand it considerably but that's really more like a hobby for her the goats that started with my granddaughter saying she wants a goat nice so I bought a goat next thing I know in two twos I had either three or four goats and then from there on we just kept them we don't sell them we just keep them eventually um, we will sell them but um, and it serves a purpose as you notice it, it keeps that hill clean and it's, it's more challenging to bush cut to bush yes 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 hill. Especially if you have rocks and it has one. So you the goats just clean that and keep it nice and clean. There's a big debate now that goat rearing is more profitable than cattle rearing. So they say. So they say. Um, but you have to have the right type of goat. You have to have a resilient um, strain and you have to have a goat that gives you 
that converts. Yes. Feed. I have a few. I have a nice. Um, I have a nice ram, and um, it seems to be doing all right. But you know, you have to, every now and then you have to change them. And I'm really focused on the on the on the on the goat side of my business. Um, Although, as you can see, I have a whole heap of land that can be used. That can be, it. yes, yes. Uh, but with that comes a bit of risk because you have to send them way out at the back in the, at the, uh, on the hills. And, um, you know, although they, they say goats um, come right back at night. <laughs> You're not sure about that one. It's a bit risky. I agree with you. And it attracts. It yes. It attracts a certain interest that I can do it out. So I just use that and uh, to clean the land and thing. But the thing that I, I, I am going to concentrate more heavily on now is a structured um, program of developing your beef, beef. Your beef, yes, beef. yes. And and that what you mentioned there with the um, the, 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 the total mix ration machine. Worries you. You see what that means that you don't have to worry about the weather as much. Yes. It assures you of a, a mixture that will convert the meat, the, the feed into, into meat. As long as we can continue to attract a, a, a price that makes it profitable. Profit because stable. everything we do, although we love it, gives me great exercise, wonderful to be out here. It takes my mind off some of the pressures wow. at ministerial level. But it's very, very good for you, mentally and physically. Yes. And at the same time, you're earning a little money. And what I focus on too much, I think, in this, farming thing is I've used it more as a hobby uh -huh. than an than a, a, actual a, business. An actual business. So I'm going to know focus a lot on it in, in a more uh, business-like like, way. You know? so and I'm in full support of that, Mr. Sam. And, and you're going to help me to do that. No as doubt. You, as you can see, we started all right and you know, we, we're, we're getting along. Thank you. Harvest grass. And the man says, and you sh I'm sure you and demonstrate it to you. Come around this side. Come around. Look at it. Take out the side of the bush mm -hmm. You see it? So when it cuts, it spits the grass. It doesn't crush up the grass. Yeah. If you don't have that opening, the grass gets crushed. Mm -hmm and they're reluctant to eat it when it's crushed. So what we do is we, we open that and I saw it demonstrated. It's fantastic because when they come out, they come out almost in many instances with whole stalks. And, and that is what we, we gather and feed. <coughs> and they add a little molasses to it and they eat it very nicely on a farm. This <laughs> tractor. This tractor with the, with the, with the with the bucket, yes. This yes. has saved us a fortune. Yeah. Yes, with the loader, because you can do so much. So it offers you such a great opportunity to move things around, Multiple to clean ones. land, everything. And then we tie that in with our little truck that tips on either side and also at the back. Mm -hmm. So you have total flexibility. You never have problems moving things from one place to the other, collecting. When we're moving like molasses, the heavy drums. We just put it in here and move it. it. All our heavy lifting. This little fella here is a masterful fella. And then we have a we have a post hole digger which I need because of course we have posts, a ton load of posts, fences. So we use this the post hole digger. It has one problem though, it doesn't. Then you see, I'm trying this new thing yet. Doesn't reverse. You know, when you go down in clay, when it's wet, yeah. it goes down and it can't come back. Can't come back out. Mm. So what we have to do is, when it's dry, we go down a little and then we bring it out. It, you know, you lift it, but you don't use a reverse, which helps you to come out. So those are the little things. But these, and then we use these bad ones. Anytime there's a problem, we need to burn something. We use it, and uh, these have to be cut up now and stacked around the back. But so where do you get them from, generally? I have a man that supplies me. You see what happened? The train line, it's the lines that run from um, Linstead so. and, and to the bookside to Uyton uh -huh. down and so on. The lines have to be 
upgraded every now and then, and then they sell them. And they sell those, yeah. yeah. Yata he. This is where the top. We have to spend a lot of money on providing hay. See what a lot of awards. What, 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 what's 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 this for? That's my little son when before he was 14, 13 years old. And that's just a fraction. Yeah, they were very very both of them they used to ride a lot. Oh okay. But they're out of that now. Leave it to the grandchildren. So these are my these are my stalls for my horses and for my stall. That's the feed. See your feed here. This is your feed here. Look at it. This is a, these are the mixtures. Oh, okay. I buy some corn huffles and we have your feed and we mix it together with the wheat methods. This. Oh, to make your mix your feed. Yeah. Oh, it's a cement mixer. <laughs> it works. It works. Yes. Yes. But I'll get you a better mixer, man. Yeah. <laughs> and then now, finally, finally, you get a chance to look at my hobby, thoroughbred racing. Nice. You know, some pictures of some of the winners that you have had here. Yes, my thoroughbred has has won uh -huh. a lot lately. Yeah, yeah, here's one of that. This. Put this up here. And this. Years ago when we had a farm, I said, Thomas. And this, and this is where this is your little farm office. Yeah. <laughs> Comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is where I want my farm office to look. And then when we're ready now, the men come and sit down here, and I sit down there, and we show them how other farms from YouTube how they do things in the states. And that's where I picked up the idea of the bush cutter. And the bush cutter. Mm. Yes. Hey, thank you for watching this vlog and I hope it inspired us a little bit more to understand how everybody from all walks of life can have some role or some contribution to the agricultural sector. And it was great to see Mr. Samuda planning to take agriculture now, not just as a hobby, but as a business. And that's what we want most of our farmers to do, to get out of that hobby mind frame, the backyard gardening type of concept and look at agriculture as an enterprise, as an industry for us to grow, to help our food security and also increase our GDP.